Hello friends, my name is Alex Krekus and I produce a show called The Mysteries of Monterey for AMP Media, which is Monterey's public access television station. Now the purpose of this show is to visit ancient sites that time has long forgotten here in Monterey County and elsewhere. Well recently I followed a thin thread from Monterey to a ranch in Joseph, Arizona. <laughs> now you ask yourself, how the heck is Monterey somehow or another connected to a ranch? in Arizona. Well, I invite you to come with me as I follow this thread from Monterey to Arizona. I know we're going to have a lot of fun doing this. We want to welcome you to Rock Art Ranch. Uh, the original name of this ranch is part of the Hash Knife Cattle Company, which was the largest cattle company in the state of Arizona. They run 2 million acres, 60,000 head of cattle, and most all their cowboys that come in this country were outlaws that come in out of Texas. And uh, with, uh, to the folks from Monterey, we welcome you here uh, on the ranch anytime. I spent some time at Fort Ord in 1958, like the froze to death in July. That, and then we, I remember going to Salinas to the big rodeo there and uh, had a lot of good memories there at that time. Uh, I had a buddy and I, we, we was sworn into the, into the army in Phoenix, Arizona and rode a train from Phoenix uh, to Los Angeles and then from Los Angeles we rode on up on a train to to Monterey, the the way I remember, and uh, and that's where we was uh, we started our boot camp was there at, uh, at Fort Ord, and that we us old dry land kids we when we hit the uh, there at Fort Ord and that old water there on the ocean drifted in and the fog and actually it was it was the first time that I'd ever seen. Uh, the ocean, and it was quite an experience. It's uh, it's something just like our country here. The people come here, and you can see forever, but there's no water. It's just ball flats, and and there, uh, the difference, of course, was was the ocean, and and it was it was kind of it was very different. It was a very different uh, part of our lives. So. But anyway, there's just a just a lot of a lot of uh, history back then. It's uh, I understand there's nothing there anymore except a bunch of buildings and they uh, they're at Fort Ord. They they was building new buildings there, a lot of them when we left. But, uh, I remember Fort Ord, uh, uh, Monterey. Uh, it probably is twice as size now that it was then. A lot of great people there. And a lot, they did a lot of farming the way I remember. But uh, anyway, uh, that's that's been a year or two ago. I was born uh, in 1937 on the sheep trail in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, my dad, uh, they used to trail our sheep from this country 
into the valley in the Phoenix country and they'd keep them there all winter long on them alfalfa fields and, and then in the spring they would trail them back to the mountain and keep them here on the mountain. In fact, that's where my dad met my mother was at Tonto Basin under the Tonto Rim there. Uh, the same place that Zane Gray has a lot of books written. My mother had migrated from Missouri and came to, came to uh, Phoenix with her sister and then got a job up there at Tonto Basin at, at a little grocery store that's still there. And uh, my dad went in for provisions for camp, sheep camp and met my mother in the 30s and that's where, that's where uh, they, uh, they got married uh, and uh, that was the beginning for uh, their life there and but, uh, we came here on this old ranch in 1945 and uh, so dang broke we couldn't ever leave so we just stayed. It's a way of life that you get used to, and uh, uh, you learn to love it. You love the animals, you love the outdoors. It's just one of those things. The Indians lived all over this country. Our artifacts, we have a museum of Indian pots and, and uh, arrowheads and, and all the tools that them people used at one time. Uh, they didn't have uh, much, but what they did have was stuff that they uh, found here on the ranch. Uh, they made their tools out of rocks. They made their homes out of rocks and mud. And, and uh, wood, wood structures. I've always been interested in the Indian people uh, that lived in this country at one time. Everywhere you ride on an old horse, you see where they lived. They, they lived everywhere in this country, and uh, it's amazing the the pottery, the pots that you find, the stuff that you find uh, uh, just off your old horse riding. Uh, a lot of the the uh, Indian pots are just the way they left them. They turned them upside down, and it lo looks like may maybe they either drought out and couldn't take them with them, or they had a disease and all died off and left them. But everywhere you ride in this country, at one time, the people lived. And they, they are, are what we call the Anasazi, which means the old Indian. The Anasazi is the Hopi, uh, the, the Zuni, the Apache. They're the old people that was in this country at one time. The petroglyph site in the canyon, according to Dr. Don Weaver out of Northern Arizona University, We've had that site recorded, and he claims some of them petroglyphs in the canyon are 7,500 to 6,000 B.C. So you tack another 2,000 on that, and uh, it's just almost crazy. It don't sound right to me. I don't know if I believe this or not, but that'd be 9,500 years ago. When I was 11 years old, I was bringing a bunch of cattle across from the canyon over where the petroglyph site is. We're about five miles from there, the ranch, and, and uh, there was a, we'd had a pretty good windstorm, and right on this little ridge there was a, a great big uh, water oya uh, pot, uh, 
and a sozy pot that had blown out of the sand and it was just sitting there and uh, absolutely beautiful and later we found four or five more in the same spot it looks like them people either the, when they left they just left them sitting maybe they died off from a disease maybe they dropped out and couldn't take them with them we don't know but that this is probably the one of the uh, best remembrances. I've found them in the bottom of canyons. I've found them everywhere. Uh, same way with the arrowheads. And uh, uh, you, but you never know. But it's it's all exciting. Every day is different. This here was a natural entry into the gorge. This is an Anasazi area and has been visited by many cultures. This is going to be really fantastic because we're going to be able to see the symbols of all the cultures that came through this area. Let me show you the natural way to come in and out of this gorge. This here. These footholds were put here by the ancients that visited this site. Let me show you. I'll place my foot in there. Now, of course, their feet were smaller, and they didn't have sneakers like I do. But watch this. There's one foot. There's the second foot. There's the third, fourth, and, of course, it continues. And here's a larger one right here. Let me show you. I'll put my foot in there, and here's another one over here. These footholds run the length of this cliff all the way to the top. Of course, now modern man has placed his steps here. But at one time, those footholds placed here by the ancients looked just like this here in front of me.
kind of gets in your blood and you just you don't make any money the only way you make a, a living is if you got a good wife in town working that's about the only way it, uh, anyway there's just there's just uh, a lot of uh, something that like I say gets in your blood and you and, and this is what you like to do and uh, just a lot of history but if you want to come to Rock Art Ranch, we'll give you a tour and we'll show you what we have and what we don't have. Well, uh, it's been an interesting day uh, and we hope that you have enjoyed your trip here, your tour here at Rock Art Ranch. And uh, we uh, 
we for the first time here we we charge you we hit you in the up but the second time if you ever come back it's it's on us you're welcome